welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you how to easily and quickly create a big, voluminous, glamorous blowout on yourself. Now I have learned so many tips and tricks over the years. I can't wait to share them with you. So let's get started. All right. So for hair prep, you don't want to start with your hair dripping wet. So I just let mine air dry while I did my makeup. And I definitely recommend going in with a heat protectant or better yet, a blow dry cream with a heat protectant built in. That'll be amazing. For the hair dryer, today's video is sponsored by Panasonic and I'll be using the new Panasonic Nano E hair dryer. This is the EH NA67W. But I love the look of this dryer. It is very much my style, plus it's nice and lightweight and very quiet. But I find myself reaching for this one because it cuts my drying time down in half. Like if I'm just roughly blow drying my hair start to finish, it takes less than six minutes. But this dryer is really great. It's going to give you professional results while reducing the damage on your hair. So I'm very excited to share this with you and I will link it in the description box if you want to check it out. So this comes with three pro attachments. Let me show you. You've got the concentrator nozzle, which is amazing for blowouts. So we'll be using this later today. Plus it comes with a diffuser, which is great for gently drying curly or wavy hair. But for the pre-dry, I'm going to use the new oscillating quick dry nozzle and just wait till you see this in action like I have never seen anything like this before now before doing the blowout you want to go in and pre-dry your hair to about 80% dry if it's straight and about 50% if it's wavy or curly but this step is just gonna help do frizz your hair and it'll save you so much time so this dryer has two speed settings and three heat settings which makes it great for all hair types and I'm just using the lowest heat setting with the highest speed speed setting. And for the pre-dry, you really want to focus the air on your roots at the base of your head because these take the longest to dry. And I like to blow dry my roots in the opposite direction than they fall and it's just going to add a lot more volume. And can you see the oscillating head moving back and forth? Like how cool, but this just prevents one area from getting too hot and it creates soft and strong air flows which help dry your hair quickly and gently, which also reduces damage. And typically I shake my hand back and forth while blow drying to move the air, but this just does all the work for you so your arms aren't going to get tired and no breaks are needed. All right, so my hair is about 80% dry. It's still cool to the touch. And what you want to do at this point is gently go in and detangle your hair. And you just want to use a brush with flexible bristles. So for your round brush, your brush size depends on your hair's length. So I have a 54 millimeter brush. If you have shorter hair, I'd recommend sizing down and anything larger is just going to straighten your hair. And then for a blowout, you want one that's made of a metal so that it can heat up, lock in the shape and add shine. All right, let's section off our hair. So for the first one, you just want to section off all of the hair above your ears and clip it tightly away so it doesn't get tangled in with the lower section. All right, so I'm going to use the concentrator nozzle. It's nice and narrow. I definitely recommend using one. It's just going to help direct the heat smooth your hair, especially if you have like curly or wavy hair. All right, so you wanna grab a section no wider than your brush. So for the bottom section, I'll probably do three. So this looks about good. And you just wanna brush through it, make sure that there's no knots so your brush can slide right through your hair. And then the whole time you're doing a blowout, you wanna keep your brush vertical and you just wanna place it behind your section so that all of the hair goes away from your face. Same as like a curling iron. And then you wanna pull it away from your head because you want to try to create some tension so just give it a nice pull as you're blow drying your hair let's get started and before doing that blowout action i like to just blow dry behind my brush to help dry the roots and i'm using the highest heat and speed setting okay for the blowout slide your brush part way down your section keeping your nozzle close to the bristles and then roll it up to your roots and then roll it down and repeat until the top section is dry then slide your brush part way down your section to dry the mid lengths, repeating that same rolling action, and then repeat this on your ends. Then gently roll your brush back up to the root and hit that cool shot button on your dryer. This will help lock in the shape add some volume and this step feels especially nice on hot days like today. All right, so now you can gently untwist the brush from your hair. So what I like to do is just use my wrist and just gently twist the brush away from my face. And then once you reach the bottom, just pull it out. 
All right, so now you're left with a super smooth shape. It has a really nice bend to the end. You can see what a difference the non blow dried and the blow dried side look, but try to resist the urge to touch it. You just wanna let it set and cool. But that wasn't too hard, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side so you can see. So same idea, just brush the your section, make sure it's not free and hold your brush vertical and place it behind your section so it curls away from your face. So blow dry your roots from behind first, then slide your dryer and brush part way down your section, roll your brush up, and then roll it down, repeating until it's dry about two to three times, maybe once more, just to be safe. And then slide your brush part way down your section and repeat to dry your mid lengths. Then don't forget your ends, they don't need very much heat, and then you just wanna roll back up your section and lock it in with that cool shot for a couple seconds. All right, nice and cool. Now just gently roll the brush out of your hair. So we have our two bottom curls ready and setting. I'm just gonna do the back section. I have one section left. And when I'm doing the back, all I do is just pull it forward. It's nice and easy. All right, before moving on to the next section, I like to just tap the back of my roots here, just make sure that they are nice and dry and we're good to go. So I'm just going to section off the hair just above my ears. Make sure it's free of knots and I like to keep all of my wet hair behind my shoulders. It just keeps everything nice and separated. All right, so same technique for this section of hair. When we get to the top, we're gonna do it a little bit differently, but if you're short on time or you're tired, then I'd recommend just focusing on these face framing pieces. They are the most important. This one is a good one. I can say this is like my good side and then this side's a little bit harder for me. Does anyone else have that problem? All right, next section, I'm just gonna section off everything at my temples. I remember I said this hair dryer reduces heat damage. It's because it has that nanoe technology, which sounds super fancy, but what it does is it draws moisture from the air to create tiny moisture rich particles, which are small enough to penetrate your hair shaft. And then that extra moisture helps protect the hair against damage from everyday styling, brushing, and this will help enhance your hair's smoothness and shine. Now I use hot tools almost daily, so I really love that this helps protect my hair. And if you have layers, you're really going to see these curls pop. It's so nice. All right, so the side sections are done. We're looking voluminous and it's time for the top. The top is my favorite because, well, A, we're almost done, and B, because this is when you really see everything come together. So regardless of where you part your hair, you wanna work in horizontal sections. And the sections that you wanna pay most attention to is going to be your front section and the very back section. So, so same idea, you want like a one inch thick section at the back. Slip this tightly away. It's really cute. All right, so you wanna hold your brush horizontal and place it nice and close to that root. And you wanna to try to bring your brush upwards and forward to the front, not to the sides. And this is what's going to create that lift and volume that you're looking for. Then roll your brush in and out, down your section until it's completely dry. So same technique as before. And remember to let your section cool before removing your brush. Now, sometimes by the time that I reach the very front, it has dried. So I just take some water and spray it. All right, let's do this last section. Last one. All right, now you can touch it and you wanna play around with it, find your part, fluff it out, and you are going to see all of the volume. This is when you finally see all of that hard work paying off. So there we have it. I love this look. My hair is so voluminous, it's soft, it's 
very shiny and if you have shorter hair or layered hair you're gonna have even more bounce and volume but I really hope that you liked today's video and found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you have a hard time doing a blowout please don't get discouraged it took me a long time to really get the hang of it but just keep on practicing and it'll get much easier but thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you next time bye